Hey guys, this is Sudha and this is my husband Chaitanya. Hello. So we are here at Mahabalipuram. So we are here for two days. Uh, it's a weekend here and uh, the plan is to cover all the important uh, heritage sites from the Pallava dynasty. So looking forward to it and as part of it we are here. This is one of the Vimanas. Uh, it's a monolith that's constructed out of one stone. It's very beautiful. It's unfinished so it's called Vimana. So similarly, uh, we are super excited to visit all the other places. We hired this scooter for two days. We took Kaveri Express from Bangalore to Chennai Central, and from there we took a public bus till Tiruvannamalai bus stand. We got a direct bus from Tiruvannamalai to Mahabalipuram and the ride was extremely beautiful. We drove for at least 30 kilometers along the ocean. We just got down in Mahabalipuram bus stop and that right there is Arjuna's penance. Mamalapuram also known as Mahabalipuram is a town in Chengalpattu district of Tamil Nadu. This was one of the two major port cities in the Pallava kingdom. The town was named after Pallava king Narasimhavarman I who was also known as Mamala. The relief was created to celebrate the victory of Narasimhavarman I over Chalukya king Pulakesin II. The descent of the Ganges and Arjuna's penance are portrayed in this stone. What we see here is a herd of elephants that has come to drink water from river Ganges. On top of the elephants, uh, we see different gods and goddesses that have come to bless Arjuna. We can also see Arjuna in a penance state in order to attain weapon from Lord Shiva. We've just arrived at the Ishvara Temple in Mahabalipuram. It's a west-facing structural temple that is built on top of a hillock. It was constructed by Rajasimha 700 to 728 CE. We have now arrived at the Mahishasura Mardini Mandapa. It is a rock cut cave temple dating from the late 7th century of the Pallava dynasty. In this exquisitely carved relief on the cave walls, we can see the main deity of the temple, Durga slaying the buffalo headed demon Mahishasura. This carved relief shows Vishnu reclining on the seven-hooded serpent Adi Sesha. This is Mahabalipuram lighthouse. It became fully functional in 1904. India's oldest lighthouse built around 640 CE by Pallava king Mahendravarman I stands next to this modern structure. Clearly, the people of Mahabalipuram are great at carving stones. We 
वीव अराइव एट दी पंचरथा एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट रथा विच इज कॉल्ड दी द्रौपदी रथा दिस इज दी पेनोरामिक व्यू ऑफ दिस प्लेस दिस इज द इन साइड ऑफ दी द्रौपदी रथा दिस इज दी अर्जुन रथा धर्मराज रथा So here are the five rathas. This is one, two, three, four, and five. This is the Nakula Sahadeva Ratha. Each of the five monuments resemble a chariot, and each is carved over a single long stone or monolith of granite. All these are unfinished structures. water droplets dripping from this unfinished mantapa it's created a small pool here there's water dripping from these different rocks here in the unfinished mantapa What we see here is Krishna lifting the Govardhana hill on the finger of his left hand to save the people from a deluge caused by rains showered by Indra. This is a gigantic balancing rock granite boulder resting on a short incline. It is said to have been at the same place for 1200 years. There were multiple failed attempts to move the boulder. In 1908 then governor of the city Arthur Havelock made an attempt to use seven elephants to move the boulder from its position but no success We've now arrived at the triple celled rock cut shrine There are three shrines dedicated to Brahma Shiva and Vishnu This is the hotel we stayed at in Mamalapuram. We are here at the Pidari Amman Ratha. Uh, these two rathas are monolithic temples. Um, they are unfinished, so they are called vimanas, and. we can see the gopuram carved out of this monolithic rock here and another one there so they started carving from the top and then it's unfinished in the bottom I love spending time in such secluded places 
and nature without any tourist activity we can only imagine how this place looked 1400 years ago and the tools they would have used to carve such beautiful monuments of architecture So if you see this is an this is a big monolith and they've started constructing from the top uh, and it's unfinished so this is supposed to be a temple but then because uh, they this is unfinished the archaeological survey of india suggests calling it a vimana instead of a temple because it's not consecrated and similarly if you look at this one it's also half finished um on the other side it was uh, we had some steps to get in but then there's no um idol of any god here um in both of these unfinished temples we ended our day at mahabalipuram beach which was extremely beautiful day 2 of trip coming up next bye